Hello and welcome to day four of the ESL EdTech Jumpstart Challenge at edtechforadultesl.com. I am Jacqueline Volcano and I will be your host. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Quizlet to help prepare students with the vocabulary they need in order to create their Google accounts tomorrow. So, first you'll need to go to quizlet.com and then select sign up and sign up with your Google account. And you will most likely need to enter in some additional information in order to create your account. When you get into your account, um, this is your dashboard that you have. You'll have your latest activity here. Down below you'll have your classes and at the bottom you'll have your folders. So first I'm going to have you create a class. So click create a class and name your class. I'm going to name my class test <laughs> and you can enter a description if you want. Um, I would uncheck this for first time when you're creating stuff and then select your school and then create class. Next you will search for my basic technology vocabulary part one study set. Select the first one. Here are the six main buttons for teachers to use. This is the edit button, so you can edit anything that is below. Share, you can share a link with a teacher or student. You can add it to your class or just a general folder is basic information on the study set. Here's where you can track your students progress if you have the teacher, the Quizlet Pro teacher account. And here are some other options. On a desktop computer you have eight games available. On the mobile devices you have six games available. This slide down lower. Um, these are the flashcards that I have made and students have the same view so they can star the ones that they need practice on more. You can listen to them. And here is the edit button. So I'm going to briefly go over the eight types of activities. So learn is an adaptive activity. Students study a small amount of cards within the study set and when they master that set then they go to the next set. Options is a very important tool if you want them to study the term or the definition or both and you can select or the student can select what types of questions they want to study. You can turn the audio on or off and then always click start over if you would like to change anything. The next activity is flashcards. One step that many students miss is that they need to press the space or click the card to flip it. That's a new addition that I see. And they can listen to the word. Go to the next. Use your Gmail account to log into an application. They can play the set from the very beginning. They can shuffle the set or they can change the options. Next is writing. So they just need to type the answer. If 
If they don't know, they can click don't know. It will give the answer and you can type the answer. You can turn audio on or off and other options. Next is spelling. So this is more of a listening activity. They can repeat by clicking the the sound symbol, and they have two chances to get it correct. If you are tracking student progress on the test, I'd highly recommend making sure the students have the correct options selected if you want them to practice all types of questions and if you want to, them to practice the term or the definition. There is a question limit, so if you have... I wouldn't recommend making a set more than 20, but maybe you want them just to practice 10 out of 20 questions, you can change that as well. You can also print the test. This is match. Students match to match the term with the definition. Click, drag, and drop, and it disappears. On the mobile devices, it's in a grid form, and they click on two cards, and when, if they're selected correctly, then they'll disappear. For gravity, the definition will appear at the top of their screen, and as it falls down, they have to type the, def, uh, the term. And then live is the classroom competition game. You split the classroom into teams, and one person in each team has the correct answer. And that is Quizlet. So for today's activity, if you are working with students at this time, you can go ahead and share this activity with them with Remind. So the class that we created I called Test. So yours should look something like this with just one activity. When you click on the activity you can share it here and click Remind. You'll select your class and then hit send. I'm going to close that for a moment. I would suggest going through the vocabulary list with your students and maybe just introducing one or two activities from above. After tomorrow For your information, this is the class link where the students would join. We'll wait until after tomorrow when the students have their Google accounts created. That's it for today.